Welcome back YouTube. Uh, what we have here today is the M1941 or model of 1941 Johnson Automatic Rifle manufactured by uh, Cranston Arms Company out of Providence, Providence, Rhode Island, U.S. made. Uh, this weapon was actually submitted for trials to compete with the M1 Garand uh, when we were going to adopt a uh, semi-automatic service rifle. There's a few things about the weapon that, that made it less desirable than the uh, M1 Garand. One thing was the uh, cost to manufacture. It was definitely more expensive to manufacture and took longer. Uh, it was prone to stoppages in the field uh, with the bayonet attached and things of that nature. Because of the reciprocating barrel, the bayonet being attached would affect that reciprocation in the proper cycling of the weapon. It's a semi-automatic stripper clip fed or magazine fed uh, 30-06 10 shot rotary internal magazine that is loaded with stripper clips from the side which I'll show you in a moment it was designed to fire the standard M2 ball round of the day um, really nice rifle they did see some limited service use in the Pacific uh, in the early uh, you know battles of the Pacific when we couldn't get enough Garands out and the Opinions of the rifle from that campaign were favorable, and a lot of the Marines hated to part with them once the Garands came back in. So they have seen some military use as a military designation. They just weren't right, as widely accepted as the M1 Garand. When the Bay of Pigs incident came for full circle, we armed a lot of the fighters we sent to Cuba with the Johnson Automatic, and of course we all know that they lost. That's not speaking uh, badly about the Johnson. But it's a very nice rifle, very robust, it's very well made. The reciprocating barrel does lend itself to vertical stringing once the weapon heats up to a certain amount. Um, but other than that, they're very robust, they're very well made. I'll show you how this thing is loaded here in a moment. But uh, I, I really am lucky to get to take this thing out and uh, we're going to shoot some 100 yard groups and then we're going to blow some stuff up with it. It's designed to be fed with stripper clips. You can see there's a stripper clip notch on the side of the gun, stripper clips, load like so. Definitely not as friendly as an M1 Garand, but I'm sure with enough training and enough time behind one you could get used to it. Now, the gun is supposed to hold 10 shots, but I can't quite get 10 in it. I can only get about 9. As you can see, that last one, it just kind of didn't really want to load that one in there. I've got 9 in it. Definitely not as easy to load as an M1 Garand in my opinion, an M1 Garand or even a Mauser for that matter. Um, a Mauser would be a lot more user friendly to shoot on a regular basis like this. You could definitely get more shots off, but it's a semi-automatic and you do have a lot of firepower in your hand. I'm just reporting is that I see it. Going to demonstrate how to top this off. We'll put a five round stripper clip in there. The gun is loaded, there's a round in the chamber, the safety's on, but yet, you can top it right off. Just like so. All right, you ready? Here, you ready for a go? Stoppage? Yeah, it's empty. Oh, that's it? Yeah, six shots. Yeah, load a five round clip in there if you want. We'll save the rest for blowing up stuff. Isn't that cool? Okay, 
just lock back on the last shot, correct? Yeah. Cool. All right. We're going to show the groups, and you know what? Let's blow some stuff up. All right. Johnson rifle versus bowling pins. Awesome. <laughs> How you like that? I like bowling like this. <laughs> My I turn. Might, I might be able to bowl a 200. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. 